guys, it's Becca. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share how we decide which Disney resort to stay at. Every trip is different, so planning looks different for every trip, but it can be a little overwhelming with the number of on-property Disney resorts there are to choose from. So I'm going to show you guys exactly how we decide which resort we're gonna stay at. We kinda have a little system that we've worked out and a few steps that we follow each trip. So I'm gonna share those with you guys. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So the first step in our resort deciding process is probably the most obvious and that is to determine a budget. <laughs> this is pretty much the starting point for any vacation. We will sit down and kind of map out exactly what we're willing to spend for that specific trip and every trip looks different and it's, you know, it can vary on which time of year we're going to go, um, but we always start with determining our budget and that will narrow down which category of resorts we want to look at. So if we are planning a more budget-friendly trip, we just need something that's bare bones, very basic, then we will stick to the value resorts and, um, and kind of only look at those options. Um, if we're willing to spend just a little bit more, that opens up the moderate category. And then, you know, if there's other trips where we are celebrating, we want to go all out, then we'll look at the deluxe resorts and renting DVC points and all of that. So that's pretty much our first step. And we always make sure that we are in full agreement on our budget so that there's no conflicting anything going into the resort deciding process. We always start with nailing down a budget and then going from there. So once we have determined our budget, the next thing we look at is the actual resort itself and the amenities, the dining, and then the room appeal. And this might actually be a little more important to us than maybe for some people, but we really appreciate a nice room. <laughs> we we love spending time in our room. We love getting up in the morning and enjoying the balcony, making a cup of coffee. So we really appreciate having those renovated rooms. And there have been times when we have steered clear of a certain resort based on how the room looks. And I know that might seem funny to some people, but it's just a priority for us. And I really enjoy YouTubing, you know, walk through tours of different uh, DVC resorts and different deluxe resorts, just getting a feel for what the resort is like and what the rooms look like and what's included. And I just really love it. And that's a huge piece of how we decide which resort we're gonna stay at. So, you know, I mentioned the dining, that's another thing. If there's a great quick service option, there's a couple different dining locations and table service meals um, that we can experience while we're at that resort, that's a huge factor for us as well. And so that's another thing we look at. Some trips are different than others where that's a higher priority and then other trips, that's a less of a priority. So again, it totally comes back to what specific trip we're planning, but that would be the second thing we look at is the resort, amenities, and the room appeal. So after we have done all of our research into all of the different resort amenities and room styles and things like that, then that's when we look at the resort location. And this may be more important than the resort itself or the room appeal to other people um, than maybe it is for us, but again, it totally depends on the trip, but for some trips, location is a really important piece. If we are going for a festival at Epcot and we really wanna spend the majority of our time there, then we'll make sure to look at resorts that are closer to Epcot. Same thing with Magic Kingdom. If we know we wanna spend a lot of time um, on that monorail loop, checking out some of those dining options and a lot of our time at Magic Kingdom, then we'll make sure to check out some of those resorts. So kind of like that, we'll base the location of the resort and take that into consideration as well. I would say location is less of a factor for us personally than the room appeal and resort amenities. Again, that's just us. We don't mind taking a bus everywhere. We don't mind waiting. Um, some people like the convenience of having a couple different transportation options, but if we're at a resort that's maybe a little further away and the only option is the bus, 
that can sometimes be a negative for certain people to stay at that resort, but that hasn't really been the case for us. We still consider staying at those resorts, even if it's maybe a longer commute to different parks. So we definitely take in the location as a piece, but it's not a deciding factor. So that's kind of why it's number three on my list of steps we follow. <laughs> so it's, again, definitely something we consider, but less than the rooms and the resort amenities. So at this point, after we have nailed down our budget, we've researched all of our resort options, we've checked out all the dining, we've looked at room tours, and then we've narrowed it down and we have chosen a resort based on all of those things, location, all of that, this is the point where we will spend the time to compare prices. And this is something where we don't just book the first room and price we see. We'll actually spend a week or two really researching the best price, whether that is through Disney directly or through a third party like Priceline or Hotels.com, those types of websites, then we will definitely spend our time and shop around and keeping in mind too that the prices on the Disney website are pretty frequently changing. And so we never just wanna jump on the first price we see. And then same thing for DVC points. I have a whole playlist of how we use DVC points and rent points and save money and all of that. So of course I will link that for you guys, but that's another way that we have saved a lot of money. And we've taken the time to compare the prices. Again, even with renting DVC points, we don't just book the first price that we see. We can modify the dates. We'll kind of mess around with, you know, okay, well, what if we did a split stay? What if we this? What if we that? And, and so we really try to do our research when comparing prices. I think so many people can just jump into, oh, we got to book it. And they just spend however much the first thing that pops up says. And we really, really take our time <laughs> when it comes to researching prices. Um, and sometimes taking our time researching prices means just a day or two, and then other times it can mean a few weeks. So it really, again, it totally depends on the trip, but that is kind of our last step in determining which resort we are gonna stay at. Um, and sometimes the prices have made us change our mind too. Maybe we did settle in on a certain resort and then it got to the end and we realized, ooh, this is actually more than what we thought it was gonna be based on the dates we're looking at or, you know, there's so many different factors. And so then we'll kind of go back a couple steps and relook at a couple other resorts. So it's definitely a process and we have done this several, several times. So I feel like we're pretty good now at going through these steps and landing on a wise decision on which Disney resort we are going to stay at. So that is basically how we determine which Disney resort that we want to stay at. <laughs> so it can be, again, it can be very overwhelming if you have never gone through this process before of how do we choose? There are so many options. So I hope this was helpful just getting a glimpse into how we decide and how we come to that final conclusion and how we actually book our Disney Resort. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below how you guys decide which Disney Resort you're gonna stay at. I know people do this process differently, so I would love to read through those. So make sure that you are subscribed if you are not already, and ring that bell so that you can get notifications every time I post a new video, and make sure to like this video, and I think that's it. <laughs> so thank you guys again, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.